Oh boy. You see the thread? Discussion. Reason why a lot of reactors don't seem to like ReZero. And oh, the comments are gonna be juicy. And I am here to tell you guys the secret truth of the enemy reaction space. Maybe not just enemy reactions, but pretty much any reaction channel on YouTube. And why this may seem to be. Now, first and foremost, I don't think a lot of reactors don't seem to like ReZero. This person is probably like 0.001% like light novel, web novel, ReZero enthusiast who's trying to look for motherfuckers that's like creating content to the next degree where they're like dedicating their entire lives to ReZero. Most people are casual and they're just checking out different shows because of the trends. And if they don't seem enthusiastic about it, it's not that they don't like it. It's that maybe it's going beyond their heads. Maybe they're not focused. They're not engaged with it because it doesn't resonate. It doesn't mean that they're a bunch of haters. But there are definitely people, there are definitely people who are out here just chasing trends, just giving no fucks. And let's read some of the comments and I'll explain to you what's going on. First comment I see. Reactions are better suited for series that you can react to on the spot. Action, comedy, or horror. Um, yes and no. I think that uh, reactions are fine for any type of genre. It's all about the audience that exists for that type of content. A reaction for like Konosuba, a comedy show. Hype shows like Bleach, just shit popping off like Jujutsu Kaisen. Or even such a dialogue heavy show like ReZero. There are ways to do it. I've done it. But not every reactor pauses to break down what's happening, right? Whereas ReZero tends to have a slower pacing and is a series that you need to engage with more directly. You could say something similar about Steins Gate which has a slow first half. That's why most of the populist reaction series are all about reacting to Shonen series. Not necessarily. It's about the demographic that exists on YouTube. People don't think about who are actually watching these videos. Do you know who gets the most amount of fucking views on YouTube for like reaction channels? It's channels like your boy Roshi or Nicholas Light or many of these big channels where what do they cover? The most popular videos. What, what gets in the most views? Battle Shonen. Who watches Battle Shonen? Young, stupid kids that want to see Unga Bunga hype. That's why it seems like most popular reaction series are all about reaction shonen series because they're just simply way more kids sitting around wanting to watch those type of series compared to let's say a 30 year old fucking man that's working a corporate white collar job and just wants to watch isekais right that's basically where my audience is at not only because they're mainstream but because they provide quick entertainment as well this part is true right it is mainstream that demographic exists a lot of them are wanting naruto one piece bleach reactions right so on and so forth but because they provide quick entertainment right not everybody wants like in-depth commentary right those type of audiences don't exist in my channel because my audience is so different i'm all about the heavy commentary and analysis most like 15 year old kids they can't handle that their brain is too fucking rotted but there are some people that may enjoy this kind of you know uh, format also the cut content doesn't really help this is a lot of common knowledge we're talking about re-zero shit well, yeah, if you don't have the cut content, then it, you're going to be kind of left out in the dark, right? That's why we go into such cut content analysis. They watched it with a turned off brain. This is partially true. Can't blame them. Usually shows just need to be sad when sad music plays and happy <laughs> when thousand impact frames and many colors up on the screen. Like toddlers with keychains. He ain't wrong. Cue sad music. Reactor now goes. He, the, the, the monkey reactor has no clue what's happening. They're like, oh, sad music. Oh no, this is terrible. Hype stuff happening. Wow, amazing. Oh my God. How many times have you seen reaction channels where they have no idea what the fuck is happening? They don't understand this show, dude. They don't give a fuck. But it's so easy just to watch and just vibe and just, you know, bop your head and just say, wow, oh my God, every other like couple seconds and just formulaically like shows the type of emotion they're supposed to feel sadness or happiness through body language when the music cue happens they're not wrong about this there's a lot of channels like that to enjoy ReZero you actually have to think about what and why stuff is happening if you do you can actually predict a lot of stuff like the psychologist reactive hey hey psychiatrist being mentioned too true honestly I was happy for both disappointed that he was only able to catch uh, blah 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 I don't think we should hold them to these standards that psychologists have that guy's built differently this is another pretty good point right at the end of the day like reaction channels there's a million of them you don't like they, they, you, you're not entitled to like the most optimal most dedicated reactions to your favorite series it's a free market you choose to watch whatever is the superior experience for you if some people have shitty you know standards for themselves they're not just reacting anything, then stop watching them and just move on on the other hand, I agree with what you said. You genuinely need to pause ReZero sometimes to think about what is going on, which is something most reactors don't do. And I don't think this is just for ReZero. I think that this just 
this is for every show. If you want to just sit there and passively let things just go over your head, go ahead. But to me, I'm not immersed when I don't understand the show. When I'm watching, I want to fucking know everything that's going on play by play so I can theorize and I can try to think about what's going to happen. It's a much more dynamically like engaging experience rather than just sitting back and just watching a show. But that's just me. And some just don't like it because they are they have their own preferences, which is totally fine. You know, if you ha if you're not if you're not into ReZero, then they're not going to be like emotionally engaged, or so obviously they're not going to like care about it. Most reactors don't watch because they're interested. They watch because it's popular and will bring views, like you. They don't give a fuck about the characters and plot. They're just doing their job, and that's it. That's it. When are we watching Beyblade? First message, monkey, coming from the second chat. First rule, why don't you just shut the fuck up and watch what's happening? You think you're so important that the middle of a recording, you can just show up and demand shit? Go on a two-week fucking vacation, retard. But about this comment, right? About this comment. It's so true. Like, reaction content is the laziest form of content on YouTube and any type of content, in my opinion. You literally just watch. I am paid to just watch shit and for other people to want to hear my takes about the things that they enjoy. But here's the thing, at a certain point, like, it just brings views so easily if you get to a certain point. I'm not saying I'm there yet, but it's not just for reactions, it goes for a lot of different content creators too, where at a certain level of success, they realize that they don't need to try. They don't need to try and it'll still get the views. So why would they care about something they don't really care about? You monkeys are still going to click on it. And at the end of the day, it's a free market. You decided to give them the views. You decided to watch an inferior product and give them the views and perpetuate the cycle. I'm going to say it. Reaction contents are the most low effort and lowest form of entertainment on YouTube. I agree. But the lowest form of entertainment, who are you to fucking decide that? High effort, low effort, effort is not proportional to the amount of entertainment that's um, given. You could write a three hour thesis, all right? Here, I don't want to put this guy on blast, but just as an example, right? Look at this guy, nearly on red. My man just put out a 20, sorry, three hour, actually this is popping off. This is actually really nice that it's actually getting a lot of views. But what I want to show you is that like, there's a lot of channels that puts in a lot of fucking effort, but sometimes it does not get accepted in the same way. And same way is like, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, doesn't matter how much effort you put in. All that matters is what's the value being served to that type of audience and does the audience find that shit entertaining? Uzumaki Khan can go out and go, duh, duh. You know who this guy is? You know who this guy is? His reactions are hilarious. His reactions are fucking insane, right? It's low effort, but people resonate with it. They find it funny. Entertainment does not scale with the amount of effort that you put in. And I find a lot, and I'm, I'm not saying this person in specific is saying that, but I find a lot of people who are very bitter about other people having success through low effort content make these points as if they think that like, you're supposed to only be rewarded if there's high effort. No. It's a free market. People simply choose what's funny based on what they think is funny. Effort has nothing to do with it. Most of the times, reactors don't even care about the beginning, uh, the things they're watching. Absolutely true. They just fake their reactions to get more views or engagement. You're better off watching literally anything else. And you know what? This is a very uh, negative view on reaction content, but I agree. I think that, again, it is the lowest effort content possible you turn the fucking webcam on you watch something you yap that's it you don't even have to edit this video i'm making right now is literally going to be a one take video where i farm reddit comments but here's the thing there's value in this peep and how do i know it people click on the videos and they want to watch that shit and here's another thing if reaction content or the most low effort content what does that mean that means everybody's doing it you and your uh, your fucking grandma everybody is doing it what does that mean there's a huge saturation pool of reaction content creators out there you know pumping out the same type of videos and do you know why there's so many of them and only a few succeed because it's actually really hard it's even though it's very simple it's extremely difficult to actually do reaction content successfully to be able to pay your bills why? Because it's super saturated. When there's no competition and there's high demand, right? When the supply is low and there's high demand, then it's easy where even if you're mid because you're unique and no one else is doing it, 
people gonna watch you because they have no other option. Right now, bro, literally just do re-zero reaction. How many people are uploading this shit? And this is not, and just look at the, not just like the upload date, right? You literally scroll, scroll, scroll. There's so many people doing this shit. But do you think every person just suddenly becomes a fucking millionaire? Do you think every person here is going to get the views required to do this as a full-time job? Fuck no. Do you know why that is? Because it's super saturated. A low effort may make it seem like it's easy for you to get into, and it is. But then what? Try fucking doing it yourself. I implore you. If you think this shit is so easy, I implore you. Turn the fucking cam on. React, bro. Put that shit on YouTube. It's so easy, right? You're just watching shit. But that's what I'm trying to say. It's very low effort. But to do it successfully, because it's low effort, that takes a lot of lot of effort. And this part, they just fake the reactions to get more views or engagements. Fake is a very subjective term. At the end of the day, it's entertainment. It's a performance you're putting on. When I'm reacting, would I be literally watch if I wasn't, you know, on cam streaming and watching something, would I be yelling? Well, sometimes actually recently I kind of still do. Part of me feels like when I'm watching an anime by myself late at night after stream, part of me just starts, I'm still in like camera on mode. So I start talking, I realize there's no audience and I feel stupid. But it's basically my personality dialed up to a 12 out of 10. And there are some people that actually have fake personas, but they're trying to carefully craft this image of what may be entertaining to people. And if people are clicking onto it and they're watching, it just means that they are entertaining. It's not that hard to find reactors that do enjoy what they're watching. This is also very true. Again, this is a very negative outlook on the reaction content stuff. There's actually a lot of people that do enjoy ReZero. It's just that these people often just look at just the popular channels that may not be, not be putting in the effort that they think this show deserves and goes on these tangents. Personally, I'm more fan of an experience than content. The only reason I love watching reaction channels is because it gives me the same experience as watching it for the first time. Exactly. Why is reaction content so popular? Despite many people hating on it, saying it's low effort, saying that you don't deserve this shit, right? You're cheating, you're fucking stealing content. No, I'm literally making a 20 minute fucking episode into a one hour discussion. And not only that, what at the core of it, reaction content really speaks to the human heart. Human beings, we long to connect to other people. Whenever we love something, we have a new hobby that we enjoy. We want to talk about our similar passions with other people in the community. When you watch a movie and you walk out to the lobby, the first thing people do is talk about their favorite scenes. They want to revisit their favorite moments and verify and have an, like a confirmation in their hearts that the scene that I enjoyed was received the same way to other people. And, that, and that's pretty much the core like value of reaction content. ReZero initially comes off as a generic power fantasy to people who are going in blind. To me, episode one did not feel like that at all. I've watched so much shitty isekais that when I watched episode one of ReZero, it felt like this is next level. Already the world building, I was so immersed into the kingdom of Lugunika and what's going on, how to defeat Elsa. So I thought it was just locked in from the beginning, but maybe it's not the same place, same for a lot of other people. Therefore, they don't feel the need to have to pay attention and get easily confused. Honestly, I've stopped watching reaction channels, but one I remember that's really good is autosave. Yeah, autosave gets uh, glazed quite often for reaction content for ReZero, right? I'm sure they have really good ReZero like analysis and reactions. They usually have long discussions, glaze, glaze, glaze. I think that they actually get mad. It's not a power fantasy. They can I think they're talking about autosave here. Blah, blah, blah. I'm talking. I don't really care about this stuff. Kaka. Oh, here's the glaze. Oh, that's me. Kaka TV got into farming ReZero. He is a bit mean in some ways, but smart. Oh, absolutely. I'm mean. I mean, you just saw me 10 minutes ago, right? Fucking retard came in begging for fucking Beyblade reaction when we're making a video. You're going to get corrected. You come in here talking shit. I'm going to correct your behavior. This is a professional daycare. He seemed to enjoy it. Even reacted to cut content break time. I recommend him to you. True, he is a good reactor who is loving ReZero. Just be careful what you comment, since he might call you a monkey. Ain't that the fucking truth? <laughs> and do you know what the best part is? Why do I get away with calling people idiots, monkeys? Because you know where I'm coming from. Because you know that these are bad faith actors that's coming in trying to start shit, that's trying to say some negative shit, then I immediately call them out. I'm not gonna sit back and allow people to talk shit. This is my stream. You talk shit, I'ma send you on a two week vacation or you just get permaban and call you a monkey and I'll farm you for that too. ReZero is best enjoyed with React channels who pay attention and theorize and have longer discussion. Kaka TV, oh. Glaze, glaze, oh my god, they just, 
You can't even say this is paid act. Do you know what this means? Autosave, myself, psychiatrist has now been mentioned in the thread. And is this thread important? No. This is a super fucking niche subreddit. ReZero already is a niche anime in the isekai space. It's not that mainstream in my opinion. It's a huge anime. Absolutely. There's a lot of fans, but I don't think it's like Naruto or One Piece level. And then we're on a subreddit and we're on an obscure fucking thread. There, there's, there's no media virality going on here. But what I'm trying to say is if other people are saying great things on your behalf, basically giving positive reviews of your products, even though you never asked them to, that's the best type of advertisement and marketing. It's called word of mouth. You don't have to pay for advertisement. People will simply recognize the product and say good things and spread the word for you. That's one of the best ways to do marketing. Recently cut up and reacts to all cut content, break time, everything has really good grasp in the series without being a novel reader, autosave, semblance, insanity, bluest, age, Brandon, psychiatrist, yaps a lot and goes on tangent, but as a psychiatrist, he has a unique perspective, I'd say. And yeah, I think that's the value that his content receives, right? Because we don't have a clinical fucking, you know, degree in like psychology, but he does. And he can kind of give you this like industry knowledge of how, you know, different characters may be psychoanalyzed. Most other reaction channels have bad memory, low empathy, low media literacy, etc. So they don't get into ReZero as much. On the other hand, a few other people I saw reacting excited and sometimes with Super's trademark jacket, lacking presenter skill and charisma. And here's the thing. Again, reaction content is so low effort. It's so easy to make. But just because it's easy to get into doesn't mean you're going to be successful at doing it. I don't want, and you're going to, I'm, I'm about to go on an ego trip, narcissistic tangent right now, okay? I'm just warning you right now. But I believe that my ability to not only stream this live, to interact with chat, to be able to read the subtitles, because I don't speak Japanese, to listen to the sound cues, to watch the visuals, to know when to pause, to know when to talk, to know when to keep the video going, to know when to theorize while engaging my chat, to know how to be comedic at times, to be able to do the physical humor, to make witty jokes, all of this is very hard. At a first glance, you can reduce what I'm doing as a guy that's just yapping about anime. But here's the thing. Look at what the actual clients are saying. Lack in presenter skill and charisma. Not everyone is a well-spoken person that can break down a show as it's airing live. This is not an offline recording. It's literally happening live. It's a one-take thing. I can't fuck up. Okay? And you need to break this shit down. And the whole experience is my content is basically doing a play by play analysis such that I'm not targeting the most sweatiest people. No, being a know it all is not fun. But what's entertaining is have a monkey like me to try my best to try to understand what's happening, to break it down into bite sized chunks so that other monkeys can also be spoon fed what I'm feeding you. You can understand the story at a greater depth without you actually having to try because I'll do it for you. That's basically my content, right? And yes, again, you can reduce this to just, you're just watching anime, it's not that deep, but it actually is. There's levels to this. Being on camera and being able to talk and be engaging, right, is totally different from you just recording yourself, just watching anime. It's the same thing with video games, right? People think that you can just go live and just stream a popular video game, say nothing, and you'll get a plenty of views. Fuck no, that's lazy. You have to be entertaining at the same time, and that's the hard part. So really, ReZero is suited to only for the top channels. But as a popular series, everyone else is going to jump on the bandwagon. That's right. And you're going to see a lot of people, right? Some people genuinely may care about ReZero, but they just, it's like a skill issue thing, right? It's, 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 it's a literal skill issue thing where they don't know how to like present themselves and compel the audience and charm them, right? And on the other side, some people are just too retarded to fucking do it, right? It takes a certain person to be able to do this. And enough self-glazing, but I hope that makes sense. I'm not trying to say like I'm a important, unique person that's better than you. No, what I'm trying to say is reaction content, while it is lazy, while it is easy, there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes, okay? Tibu's amazing too. Kaka TV can go sometimes go off on tangents too. Shut the fuck up, monkey. I have read comments about a reactor who's a psychologist and how he picked up on so many small details early on. Psychologist glaze, glaze. I haven't heard of the most channels, but I'm glad to see a fellow Kaka TV fan. Ooh, we have a fan here. 
The reason is probably that the story is too complex for reactors who turn off their brains and watch popular anime for money. And here's the thing. I don't think that ReZero is a difficult story to understand. I don't think it takes a genius to keep up with the show. But you need to give a fuck. You need to be locked in and actually try. And even what I'm saying right now, even the act of trying to give a fuck, that is rare on YouTube. And here's the funniest thing, right? And here. Here. What, what did I say? L listen to the first video I made in this playlist that it's eclipsing 260 videos now. Listen to the intro scene, okay? Come on. It's been planned for almost... Wait, wait, wait. Are y'all tired? Mm. A bunch of reaction channels, all they do is go... Oh my god! Wow! No one knows what the plot is. No one knows what the character's all about. They don't theory crap. Mm -hmm. They don't crack jokes. They got True. nothing. They have no True. clue what's going on in Rizro. But me, as the self-proclaimed yeah. React Messiah, Messiah, as the I, king yes. of trashy isekai yes. reactions, I am here to bring you paradise. Yes, king! To bring you the best goddamn Rizro reaction Pop that you can off. ever find on YouTube. Now, that's a pretty Woo. big thing to say. But I can try my best. That's Re right. ReZero has been a project. Now, why did I play that? Well, I play that because obviously you're seeing the React Messiah Persona intro. But I want you to understand, like, why I consider myself that, right? Honestly, in the beginning, when I used to watch anime reactions, mostly One Piece, before I even do reaction content myself, there were so many people making content, getting hundreds of thousands of views. But the content is fucking ass. No one knows in a greater depth of what's happening in the scenes. When things are popping off, they're not like, like talking about the scene. They're just silent. They're just watching. And it made me pissed off. And I was like, I wish there was somebody that would actually talk about the shows and the moments that I enjoy. And that's why I did it. And it's because most people don't give a fuck because this is so easy to do. Because it's so easy to get into. Now there's a lot of competition. Now, right, there's a little bit more uh, competition. Actually, a lot more competition. Back in the days when it's only your boy Roshan and a couple other people, I think a lot of people got in on the hype train and watched a lot of Shonen shows and found that it's really easy to get views. But now everyone's trying to do it, right? It's more competitive than ever. And now you're seeing kind of the byproduct of a bunch of people that just went in thinking it's so easy. They have no care about the shows they're watching. And that's the saddest part. The standard. The standard of like oh, what a reaction channel should be doing and how much effort they're giving it is so fucking low that me simply memorizing the plots me simply understanding the story and just talking about it is enough for people to call me the best reaction channel which i know that's not true i'm not perfect i make a lot of mistakes i try my best though and i do my due diligence to actually give a fuck but that's the thing most people can't even be bothered to give a fuck doing their reaction content. And that's why you have so many channels like this shit. Many channels still don't understand the characters at all. Complaining that the protagonist is stupid, a loser, no character development, or that the writing is bad. They say a lot of things that doesn't make sense. The story keeps going in circles and it's boring and uninteresting. And people are going to come to this conclusion if they are not emotionally engaged with the story. Maybe they just don't like the whole concept of ReZero, but there's also a lot of channels, again, that just don't give a fuck it's literally like again remember when i say i'm the react messiah or like i people are calling me the best reaction channel it's not because my reactions are the best it's just that everyone else compared to me just seemingly doesn't give a fuck there's a handful of people that actually love what they're doing and you can see in their content you can actually see how emotionally engaged they're with the content by how enthusiastic they are but most dudes watching this shit right it's a fucking 10 minute video edited down and then they're just like wow Crazy, bro. Wild. Insane. Wow. It's just like, that's how sad it is. That's how sad, sad the state of the reaction, you know, fucking uh, industry is and why I call myself the React Messiah to hopefully deliver people like me that wanted more reaction, more analysis to actually talk about it, to give you a better experience. That's where the whole React Messiah joke kind of comes from, okay? Hold up, let me let me play the Maple Story soundtrack again. I want something going in the background. All right, let's read some more. For me, there's only two channels that I only follow right now: Autosave and Kaka TV. Damn, bro. 
Autosave gets glazed to the next level regarding ReZero content in the span of two months. Motherfuckers are comparing me to them. Are you not inter- I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Both channels are deeply invested into the show. Autosave, they took notes. Kaka, he watches non-spoiler ReZero content. They have post-watch discussions, try to interpret the show. We, yeah, exactly. We just actually give a fuck. That's it. It's not that we're special. It's just that we seem special because we're actually trying. Isn't that sad? Simply the act of trying is how it differentiates us from the pack. I have yet to find a reactor who doesn't like ReZero. And this is another comment that, that's a lot of um, value in it. Because at the end of the day, this is a comment that's made... The, the title like this is only made to make shit volatile. To get a bunch of clicks to, you know, get engagement, right? I don't think that there's a bunch of active people that hate ReZero. I think most people actually enjoy it. You're probably watching the wrong reactors then. There are plenty of reactors who like ReZero. In fact, most of the channels we're in season 3 right now like the show. But come on, uh, some of the better channels I've seen apart from Autosave is Tibu, Psychulturist, Pink Cubed, and Kaka TV. Glaze! How can I be respectful about this? A lot of reactors are shit garbage, probably ridic ridiculous, exaggerated, childlike behaving attention want to be two steps removed from Spider-Man and Elsa money grubbing influencers. <gasps> he ain't wrong. No, honestly. You might think this is extremely rude, and it is rude, but they're not wrong. There are so many reaction channels that only exist because they see the success of other people that seem to just lazily watch anime and they get on it thinking they can also make money but it turns out it's not that easy and their product is garbage and they just they just don't give a fuck there are plenty of reactors who watch the show uh for the content of the shows themselves and most of that all of them have to love ReZero and here's a bunch of lists of them if i remember correctly uh, we're talking about rttv oh this is the your boy roshi drama kind of not really it's not really drama if I remember correctly, I came across that RTTV and your boy Roshi don't like ReZero. I think they're talking about a specific podcast where... I, I see this talking point mentioned where they had like a podcast and they're talking about ReZero and somebody may have mentioned some negative aspects about ReZero and how it doesn't resonate with them, and, but it might be getting dragged to the next point where they're saying they ha actively hate ReZero. I'm not sure. Eh. While I think your boy Roshi comes off a little abrasive at times, they're generally pretty good at making funny comments and have their fair share of predictive moments. Shira. This is Shira. I much prefer an authentic reactor to only goes on shock Pikachu face for every 20 seconds for the sake of hype and get away with it because they understand the show. <laughs> Might be coming off as the biggest uh, blah, blah blah blah. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I'd add Neil decide to the list. Oh, Neil making it onto the Hall of Fame of... What is this Hall of Fame? It doesn't matter. I didn't expect them to like ReZero so much, but he proved me wrong. You can feel how genuinely he loves it. And this is the thing. If people can see, right? People can tell if you care or not by just looking at the reactions. More, he understands Subaru and his struggles. That's nice. That's nice. I guess the YouTube algorithm knows better and constantly recommends me new reactors that love ReZero. I've been getting a lot of ReZero reaction, new channels being pushed out to me too. Might sound weird, but you haven't really watched ReZero without having rewatched it. You don't have to rewatch it to enjoy- Okay, this is a bunch of random fucking comments. In my opinion, ReZero is not easy to process in the first watch. I enjoyed it at first, but I didn't think it was life-changing or masterpiece. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of people saying this shit where ReZero is such a deep show where you need a second bypass to actually understand that shit. For me, because I literally just was so sweaty and did a play-by-play -play analysis, it made a lot of sense to me. Plus the cut content, plus my chat helping me up, right? Yep, this is not a popcorn scroll on your phone type of show. It's a melodrama with highly interconnected webs that can be pieced together but really requires to have to pay attention. I agree with this, right? It's not a gigabrain show where you need to have a certain level of IQ to understand. But it requires you to actually pay attention. It requires you to give a fuck. And again, a lot of people just can't even be bothered to give a fuck, man. It's a seinen, not a shonen. An anime expects viewers to think over stuff without giving any exposition. Basically, um, show don't tell. A lot of shows just immediately tell tell. You're spoon fed content, right? But there are some shows where you actively need to think for yourself, right? Which is crazy that like, you need to think for yourself. Wow, but. You know, there's a lot of, you know, shonen shows where it is just, you turn brain off, have fun, hype music happens, you start screaming, sad music happens, you start crying, you get the money, you fuck off, right? You, that's what you're seeing. No longer villain monologues explain their powers, no one outright says their goals and driving powers, it's all on viewers to piece it together. I much prefer this. It's a, such a community effort, it's a much more engaging effort where, yes, I get mad all the time that ReZero has no confirmations, even the author goes on to fucking troll us, there's no, everything is an assumption, but it keeps the mystery fun. It keeps us always talking about the show to always critically think about the show, and it's very engaging that way. Just going off of what I know about reaction videos is most of the times their takes aren't meant to be accurate or correct. They're meant to be dramatic and sensationalist to stir up people watching and generate views and interactions. 
there are definitely some people that does that. But to generalize this to everybody, that's not the case. Some people definitely, you know, just say some offhanded shit because they have no value. They can't do commentary or analysis. They can't understand what's happening related to other themes. Piece it together. Try to make a witty joke. Try to make a funny um, reference. Try to theory craft. Instead, they rely on cheap shock factor. They go off on tangents and say some bullshit that's trying to, you know, trigger the audience to get like a volatile engagement. That happens a lot for sure. Reaction videos are honestly some of the lowest effort videos for a content creator can make. I absolutely agree. They're not making anything original. This is absolutely false. I am literally making a 20 minute video into an hour long discussion. It is original content. You're working off of it. It's transformative in nature and it's protected under fair use, even if in Japan does not recognize it because they're boomer dra draconic laws. This is such a cap, but there's definitely channels again where they don't react. And many people have this opinion because they look at those channels where they don't react. Bro, there's a channel that literally just watches like I don't want to put that guy on blast right now, but he literally only does like any news cut content reactions or gig reactions. And bro, the video is like 30 minutes long and the, and the, the source material is 30 minutes long and his video is 30 minute long. There's no pause. He doesn't talk. He just watches. It's a fucking watching channel, right? That is literally the lowest effort on original content. They're just either sprouting off the very well-known and popular opinions or taking an opposing stance to generate outrage. Again, there's some partial truth in here, but this person, again, just is the type of person that looks down on reaction channels because it's such easy content and there's people making money off of it. There's people creating families and livelihoods off of it. They probably see such an unfair, you know, um, dynamic of a person that has to struggle in capitalistic society, working their shitty jobs, that's struggling, and you see a dude just watching a YouTube video making millions, right? Of course you'd be fucking pissed off, but I implore you, if you think that it's so easy try yourself straight up i literally teach you how to do this shit bro i literally each week have a performance review playlist if you want to create an anime reaction channel or a cartoon reaction channel just go watch the fucking playlist i don't keep this shit a secret i literally tell you everything that is necessary to make a reaction channel the weekly performance review playlist goes fucking crazy because people see value in that shit. There's a lot of this content that's out there. And not only do I have to say it, I have because my main channel exists. Look at the fucking second channel. I literally tell you my strategy, the difference between a second channel and the main channel, the difference between vertical investment and horizontal investment, the difference between understanding the recommendation system and how to scale it, you know, using one specific niche versus my main channel, where it's all about horizontal investment and covering so many diverse topics, but still being grounded, right? I teach you this shit. So like no one has any fucking excuses to call out reaction channel saying it's lazy, but not starting it yourself. And I'm not saying this person is necessarily saying that, but for any people, right? Any person that's going to shit talking reaction channels, fucking try it, pussy. Why don't you try it? It's such easy money, right? And then you're going to make excuses about, oh, I would, but I just not going to try it. That is the, just the most loser mindset. People that shit talk from the fucking peanut gallery, they just don't do anything with their lives. They see other people grinding. Then they reduce and diminish their efforts by saying it's such a lazy effort. Anyone can do that shit. Brother, go fucking try it. But you can't. I guarantee you most people could not even stick to like one month, let alone fucking three months of daily uploads and trying to fucking create a reaction channel. I teach you. I literally teach you how to do this shit in those weekly performance review playlists, right? But again, it's just a bunch of monkeys talking shit because they can only rationalize in their head of the unfair dynamic that exists of a reaction channel making money just by watching videos compared to their daily lives. And of course, it's an unfair world, but just because it's unfair, are you just gonna fucking cry about it? Why don't you fucking do something? I literally saw that it was so stupid that there's these reaction channels that literally just don't even react. They just watch these shonen shows. They get so many views. They have so much money. They're making my annual salary per month on Patreon. And I sat there in my day job asking myself, what the fuck am I doing with my life? This is so bullshit. You know what? I'm going to try it myself. So I did it. And that's all needs to be done. Empathy, EQ, understanding, attention. The only well-received ReZero reactor I have one of these qualities, which can tell you their reaction, even not from ReZero, will be top tier content. This is kind of ambiguous, but this is definitely true, right? You need to be able to understand from the perspective of a character. By doing that, you need then you can theorize like why Super is acting like this, why someone else is under acting like this, right? You need to be actively engaged with the show and constantly think, but most people, again, 
cannot give a fuck. They can't be bothered to even do that. I've watched a handful of reactions and everyone's loved it. Granted that the only person I've seen react to season 1 to 2 is Kaka, so I guess people watching season 3 like to show up to season 2 should like it. Because reaction video is a stupid thing for immersion. Try watching an anime while making comments filming your face. Of course it kills the enjoyment. No, you are so stupid and misguided. You don't even create reaction content, but you're speaking out on behalf of other people. Me pausing and talking about this show and understanding makes it such a more immersive content than me just passively watching. Some people also make this comment where it's like they themselves can't get immersed because they're watching me pause all the time. Guess what, retard? You're not supposed to watch me to be immersed. That's for you to watch by yourself. And then you come up to my video. Then you go to the scenes where you think is interesting to get my takes. It's self-reporting behavior where these monkeys treat reaction channels as if they just want to watch the episode with someone else. They don't care about the commentary. They're just lonely, miserable losers that just wants to watch the anime episode with someone else on cam. It really is that simple. It truly shows the difference of people that actually watch reactions for the commentary. Because like, why would you be mad that someone is pausing to like give you more of the reactions? That's what the whole content is. But again, a lot of people have this misconception where they think that reaction content is supposed to be something they just watch passively along with someone else. Glaze? To be honest, ReZero is a lot more complex and nuanced show than people give it credit for. I agree. Shows that are good for reactions usually need to have a simple story characters. Uh, no, that's not the case. ReZero reactions are fucking popping off because I'm able to get to that level to understand. This is a skill issue thing where the base level, base, base competency of an anime reactor or any reaction channel on YouTube is so fucking low that it seems like that. So reactors can devote part of their brain capacity to actually making content. No, I can do it. Why can't other people do it? You know why? Because it's literally a fucking skill issue. Again, I don't want to sound elitist. I don't think that I am necessarily better than everybody. But I think that what I'm able to do, literally live streaming, doing everything live, paying attention to everything, trying to understand the characters' emotions, reading the subs, the visual cues, trying to make jokes, trying to make some fucking commentary, trying to theorycraft, all this shit is actually harder than it looks. That's why you're saying that complex and nuanced shows is harder to react. No, not necessarily. It's based on the reaction channel and their competency to be able to fucking multitask and actually have their brains be functioning to a certain degree. Plenty of people watch the show with 100% of their brain and still either don't know what the fuck is going on or completely missing misunderstand scenes case in point super rem in episode 18 and that's it bro right it's just skill issue it, it's just skill issue if you want to watch a reactor really into real uh, reason to check kaka tv glaze dude is reacting to literally everything from cut content to videos to even a kid in the videos and yes we literally made a video about uh what's it called uh rezero cup tier list it's coming out soon too don't worry there are specific channels that are clearly dedicated to ReZero, and that's one of them. I wouldn't say that my channel is dedicated to ReZero. I think that um, my second channel is definitely dedicated to just Beyblade, right? Because the goal is focus on one specific niche and farm that niche so that you can recommend the system much greater skill. That's why you see average viewership per video. Like, you think that ReZero is doing well, bro. Beyblade got higher viewership on average than any of my other content on my main channel. Except for ReZero Outlier videos, but even then, Beyblade's competing on the same tier. You know why? Despite it being this many low subs, because I fucking understand the YouTube algorithm. Because I understand who my audience is, and I only give my audience what they want, right? But my main channel, even though I make a lot of videos on ReZero, it's not dedicated to ReZero. The main channel is dedicated to my personality and commentary. Many people don't understand this. Many people, and this is why many reaction channels fail. Never use sub count as an indicator of how well a reaction channel is actually doing. Because all you have to do is this. You go to Social Blade. You see public data of a monthly viewership. 1.288 mil for the last 30 days. That's all that matters. Sub count is a fucking catfish number. Most motherfuckers get huge watching random anime opening reactions, but those are tourists. They're literal tourists. Viral virality does not create a community. But you know, creating a community creates a community. How do you create a community? Well, you have to know who your audience is and ask them and interact with them and deliver the fucking videos. But this is all that matters. Long form content, excluding shorts. Shorts does not fucking count. These are monopoly numbers. Shorts are so easy to get numbers. It boosts this fucking, you know, number. But that's such a fraudulent number. Only thing that matters is the monthly viewership for long form content because that's what makes the actual fucking money. And why am I bringing that shit up? 
Uh, it's because uh, I was making the uh, distinction between the dedication to ReZero and how about like um, basically the main channel right now. People, let me. Uh, I I I I gotta bring you the analytics here to really explain this this point. I'm trying to explain to you why like um, channels die. Why six-figure channels seemingly just die overnight. And in order to do that, I need to give you a graph about my own channel where seemingly my channel did kind of die. Right over here. So, this is a graph showing a lifetime chart. And I want you to focus on this peak here. Okay? In February 17th, nearly, right? Around February 16th. Guess what happened this time? You can see there's a spike relative to the flat line. There's a spike. Virality happened. And it was my most popular video ever. Eminence in Shadow season finale. For whatever reason, I was there at the right time. Many people were seeking out the content. And I popped the fuck off. And I thought, damn, I finally made it. Mom, I'm on camera. I'm going to be a big YouTuber. Nope. Guess what happened? Channel died immediately. Because why? Because I forced down content without understanding who these new people are coming in by giving them random fucking content, right? Watch what happens. I'm sorting by um, oldest right now, and you're gonna see Eminence and Shadow show up pretty soon. There's some old fucking... Iruma-kun is giving me a lot of nostalgia, man. And you'll, you'll also notice that all this content is weekly seasonal anime, right? And I'm just getting carried by Eminence and Shadow. But guess what? Those people are watching my channel only for Eminence and Shadow. They're not watching me for me. And that is the biggest distinction. The biggest variable on whether or not your channel will survive after a season of anime where you got carried by one specific fucking anime. Holy shit! Why is there so many fucking videos? Come on! Where's the video? There it is. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So, here it is, right? Eminence. Come on. Where'd it go? Here it is. So, what happens? 72k views, right? What I needed to do at this point is tell the new people coming in, what do you want to watch? But what I did was force down to my audience's throat video about Magus Brigade, Ancient Magus Brigade, because season two is going to happen. And that was the worst thing I could have done for myself. Now, all the new people coming in from the Nemesis and Shadow are getting fed content that they never asked for, and the channel dies off. Virality does not create a community. But you know what does create a community? Actual community. See the growth here. It's consistent, right? And we're about to hit another breaking point of another Zenkai boost. If you've been watching my, you know, content, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm trying to say, where there's so many channels, if you go to their channels, right? Literally go to any huge reaction channel and go to their popular videos, it's most likely going to be an opening reaction, man. And that's why their subs are so inflated. But if you go to their social blade and look at their average viewership, I guarantee you, they have lower views than me. I have higher views than most six-figure anime reaction channels. I actually do. And if they have more views than me, do a ratio of the amount of subs that exist, the actual sub count, okay? Subs to view ratio, and check that ratio for other channels. Because those channels, again, they have no clue that they got bailed out by a certain fucking series, that they don't actually have a community, and they just die off. That's pretty much it. Again, people need to watch you for you. Many people right now, you may be popping off with the ReZero reactions, but guess what? Those people are watching them just for ReZero. They're not watching them for their personality. The main channels is different. The main channel is slowly turning into a niche of my own personality where I can do commentary on diverse topics. Not too completely different from what we are interested in in the anime stuff, but this is how you kind of create a device like a diversity variety channel. That's what I'm kind of saying. Okay. If you want to react to Glaze, there are specific channels that are clearly dedicated to Glaze. Like Kaka will turn a 20 minute episode into a 50 minute analysis. No, it's actually an hour long analysis, but all you see on YouTube is the edited down video. That's why it's a 50 minute analysis. But psychologists will turn to three to five hours long. Oh my God. Psychologists just waste time in my own. Ooh, we got a psychiatrist hater. Why are you mad? I mean, at some point, he's not even speaking about the anime, but about two, three tangents that have nothing to do with anything. Just because the video is three to five, five hours long doesn't mean it's content filled, sadly. Now, there is some truth here. 
And I'm not saying that Psychologist does this because I don't actively watch his content to study it. But there's definitely like filler content. You know how there's filler animation in anime where like nothing is happening. You're just spe they're, just, they're just capping the watch time, right? Sometimes you yap and talk about random shit that's not relevant to the fucking story at hand. And that may seem like it's, you know, you know getting padded content. However, in the beginning, dude was absolutely amazing. Content was more precise too. His psychological broke down like subplots of season two, episode one and season one. It was awesome. It made me appreciate ReZero that much more. I agree with you. Unfortunately, as soon as Psychologist is using Twitch, quality completely dropped. Ah! I see, I see, I see. This happens a lot. This happens with Nicholas Light too. Um, it doesn't really happen to me that often because I just ignore my chat. But a lot of people, um, basically these are second citizens. These people are YouTube frogs that used to have such a personal bond with Psychologists in their own head. And they're always responding to them and they feel like they're being catered towards. And then Psychologists moved this content to Twitch. Now the Twitch you know, chat is the most important because it's lifetime. And by appeasing chat more in priority, the YouTube frogs are going to get mad. And maybe there is some partial truth here about shit like this, right? About the quality completely dropping. He spent more time reading and being distracted by chat. But here's the thing. Is he being distracted by chat? Or are you feeling left out because he's not talking to you? He's talking to the people that's in his stream right now, which is actually important for that content. He seems more focused on entertaining Twitch chat above all else. Yes. You're, <laughs> you're so close. You're so close, but you're so far from... <laughs> Answering off-topic question, trying really hard to be funny, saying hi and giving shout out to his other Twitch friends. Of course, the required thank you. I really appreciate the sub-donation food. It was sad to see the transformation to his analysis style. I see this happen a lot. And again, I haven't seen his content before or after. And maybe there's some truth about his content qual quality deteriorating. But quite often, it's disgruntled YouTube people that aren't on Twitch that feel left out that in the video that Psychologist is talking to other Twitch people instead of them. And that's kind of jealousy there. It, it, it's pretty much it. And here's another thing. Like people are not, um, people like, do you think Psychologist is stupid? Do you think that he would intentionally do something that would hurt his content creation career? I think he's a very intellectual person that has a firm grasp on analytics as well and is creating content that's evolving that is now being streamed live to interact with chat and the content is evolving and he wouldn't continue doing this if the content was not doing better in terms of numbers. It's disgruntled people that's getting mad that they're getting left out. They feel like things are less precise. It's the precision thing, the concise the off tangent, it's because of the Twitch chat interaction. If you feel left out, listen, that's kind of on you. And psychologist is going to move on. Like, it's, it's nothing personal. I think the show just has too much subtlety. I agree about this part. There's a lot of subtle shit that happens that just goes over my head, too. A lot of character-related motivations and emotions are especially never explicitly stated. Absolutely true. The only good reactions I've ever found for this series are autosave. And a big part is their willingness to go back and rewatch a scene to understand it more fully. If only these monkeys could just see the light and see an actual fucking anime reaction channel that pause and give a play-by-play -play fucking analysis breakdown, but those channels will probably never exist on YouTube, right? Because ReZero is a complex show that you have to pay attention to properly understand what is going on in the in-depth that Super is used to return by death is just mentally. Basically, ReZero is not really a good show to make reaction content to. Absolutely false. That can't be... S I hate comments like this and I hate more people liking this shit because it's just the blind leading the blind. Razor reactions are completely fine. It's a great show to make content for, but there's a skill issue involved with it because it takes the average reactor to actually give a fuck. I think 99% of people who dislike ReZero simply dislikes it because of Subaru. Mostly him being too whiny and should have been accustomed to dying. The best ones out there who are paying attention to try to understand is uh, to the best of their ability in my aura, Kaka TV Glaze. Pink Cube, Otis Subin, Symbols and Sanity. Kaka is really grinding ReZero from cut content to episode reviews, break time, and even video discussions and criticism. That's right, we farming the fucking Twitter drama too. And although he's doing light novel reviews, Overlord Dio has also good takes and criticized where it's deserved. His jokes can be cringe, but funny at the same time. I also really like Awake Productions. I think she forgot almost everything from season one, season two, and didn't bother to look up again. I can't really blame her since it's been quite a long time since season two released, but I slightly got annoyed when for a good chunk of the episode, she thought Sirius' alternate time a million. I thought this was Glaze, but they're just mad that she doesn't remember. Okay, whatever. Their IQ isn't high enough. Meanwhile, their mind just sent to the orbit like Sputnik when they watched Demon Slayer. That's true. I'm sorry. 
It sounds cringe. I, I, bringing up IQ is cringe, but he's not wrong. Truly, the root cause of this shit is literally a skill issue of a bunch of retards seeing reaction channel being easy and going into it, and they can't break down the show because they're just either too stupid or they just don't care. It, it, it's truly that simple. Came here to save it. That auto, auto save loves it. Unfortunately, Boldcast literally dropped it on season two. Like, I get not liking it, but like shows are not the uh, blah. Okay, they're just they're just mad that Boldcast dropped it. Uh. Razor is a plot driven series that gives a ceiling as opposed to Kona Super One Punch Man. We're just there for the ride. Exactly. You, it, like, these shows, you don't really theorize. You can, but for the most part, you're just enjoying the ride. And it's nice to just turn your brain off and be able to enjoy the show. But, you know, for ReZero, we gotta get fucking sweaty. I don't wanna make it, uh, a, you gotta be smart because you don't have, you, you don't or a us versus them, but you have to have to enjoy it. What the fuck? Oh, it, 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 I'm having a stroke reading that. I actually saw many guys, uh, uh, many of them are great reaction from someone's insanity. Fusion react to psychologist guy. Although there are many reaction channels that are overreact to the point of the faking for the view, and those who are too brain dead to take anything other than shown and saying super is cringe or unrealistic. True. For real though, there is even a channel where a reactor says that Rem talked too much in episode 18, and that just saying I love you is good enough and that she's rambling. Again, it's the average retard that doesn't have the IQ necessary to understand that it's not rambling. It's actually such important characterization and a discussion had to put Subaru in a different perspective from the way that perceives himself like bruh he then does not show on the channel during the like reaction anymore but i just wish the channel dropped the series for real not to, I, I i i i don't know who they're talking about but um i'm I, this is funny because it's like vague tweeting vague posting about a channel that probably dropped re-zero and they were a fan before a fuck that our reactors enjoyed though this is true they do again this thread is a very um it's like a magnifying glass being zoomed in to a non-problem. Like, I, I think plenty of people love Reezer. I'm just making this video because it's easy farm. Because people often have Reezer scenes fly over their head. True. Generic Isakaiser is like slot. You see colors or hear noises and you're happy. Absolutely correct. There's literally little to no theorizing that I can... Like, bro, I try my best to pause and analyze, analyze but most of these shows, bro, most of these garbage fucking Katakawa slop they give us, it's, 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 that's what happens. Reezero is like a 10 hour documentary. It's really good, but you have to actually watch and understand that brain needs to be turned on. Absolutely true. It destroys the narrative super. That's why I think. Eh, I don't think so. I, I think that um, the narrative to Subaru. I think that the I, if the anime was able to include the monologues from Subaru, then his actions could be better understood by reaction channels, and therefore they could understand the story better. It's like training wheels. I agree with that. But um, skill issue. Reaction content is mindless slop. Honestly, you can waste your time in so many more entertaining ways. That's right. Like commenting on a ReZero subreddit to hate on reaction content. Again, let's try bro. It's mindless, easy slop. I'm making more money than your entire family right now by watching just ReZero. Why don't you just do it? It's so easy. It's so easy content. You'd be stupid not to start a reaction channel yourself, bro. I teach you how to do it. Go do it. Go watch Kaka TV. He farmed and milked the hell out of ReZero and is actually quite invested into it. Ooh. A downvote. I'm gonna downvote this guy too. Fuck Kaka TV. Kaka TV really enjoys the show and goes into extreme detail with analyzing the show and making theories. He has stated that is currently his favorite legitimately good isekai anime. Yes. I think that ReZero is literally like my favorite anime right now. And if not my favorite anime, definitely my favorite isekai of all time right now. Maybe it's the recency bias. I need to like, let some time cook, but I fear with season three happening at the end of it, it's gonna be even more solidified as like my favorite regarding why people do or do not like ReZero it's all personal preferences to be honest nothing too deep about it some people just enjoy show for the entertainment of it yeah there's nothing wrong with them but also the people just can't seem to understand the show and break it down simple ReZero is huge fan base is huge they're playing opposite to get engagement case closed no nah. i think that it's this simple at the end of the day it truly is this simple reaction channels reaction content very lazy content, very low effort, but entertainment and low effort is not scaling proportionally. In fact, you can have lazy effort and low effort and be very entertaining, or you can have high effort and be not entertaining. It's all about the value of that video. And most people use reaction content as an easy way to just farm money. But it turns out it's actually a lot harder than it seems because it's very saturated, right? If it's so easy to get into, then it's going to be even more competitive to stand out amongst others. And because the standard for reaction content on YouTube is so low. Even understanding this plot point, just understanding and giving a fuck about the show is enough for people to call you the best reaction channel in the ch fucking world, which is such a sad thing. I don't think that I'm the best reactor. Far from it. But I try my best to actually give a fuck about what I'm watching. 
because I want to give a good experience to the same people that felt the same way I did. The pain point that I felt when watching One Piece reactions back in the past. And to sum it up, right? Skill issue. People are just too stupid. People are not well spoken. They cannot multitask and on the fly be able to make witty jokes, interact with chat, joke around and stuff like that. And that's why it's seemingly that people don't seem to like ReZero. It's a skill issue. Plenty of people love ReZero. I love ReZero. And I'm going to continue farming this shit. Also, one last glaze. One final glaze. I just thought about this for me. So if we, if, if the logic is that ReZero is already such a hard show to react to, because you need to pay attention and understand everything. Remember the emotional, the emotional intelligence, the empathy, attention to detail and stuff like that, right? This, 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 this is a fact, right? On top of that, I'm doing it live. I'm not doing this offline. I'm not doing this with a friend or a girlfriend that's helping me out. I'm limited to one monkey brain over here and I'm doing it live while interacting with chat. So technically one could assume that the style of reaction that I do for ReZero, I am setting my difficulty to the highest point possible, yet delivering such a good product. Right? You, 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 could, you could toss me a biscuit there, right? I, I, I think I'm doing all right. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you in the reaction.